know, somebody came up to me a number of weeks ago and said, Sean, after your AI conversation, I was scared. I'm not gonna lie to you. And I said, listen, th 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 this was not my intention. I said, which part of the presentation scared you? And she said, well, you know, you showed how, what AI can do today. And, and you know, that's part of my livelihood. That's like part of my job. That's part of my identity. And I asked them, totally understand. May I ask you how much time have you invested in this space, experimenting with generative AI? And she said, you know, I, I just been playing around with ChatGPT. And, and I said this with peace and love. I said, the reason why you were scared is because you haven't put in the work yet. You see, I've been part of this revolution for, 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 for many years. RPA, robotic process automation, and implementing that within finance, and IBM Watson, I had my own voice AI startup to helping organizations today when it comes to generative AI. I've seen this revolution, and every single person that I've seen like immerse themselves in this technology, actually build a muscle when it comes to this technology, not a single person has ever said, this is gonna take my job. Every single person that has actually immersed themselves in the technology always says, wow, get me another bot. What else can I do? What else can I build? They're excited. And if you are scared, I totally get it. This is my advice to you. Work scared until you are scary. <laughs> Work scared until you are dangerous. Work scared until you build the skills to unlock your own potential. This is the next revolution. And the space is exponential. It's changing every single day. And as, as, as payroll professionals, I believe that the number one use case right now when it comes to generative AI is actually its data analytics capabilities. The fact that you can take a million line Excel document and you can put it into generative AI and let it cook and let it come up with the insights and variances and, and, and visualizations, it's remarkable. It's remarkable. Let me give you an example, a relevant example. I grabbed a, uh, so a payroll data set from an open data site. It was from the city of Los Angeles. If you're from the city of Los Angeles, don't worry, I'm not, your, your name's not in here, okay? Uh, I took this giant document, it's a 600,000 line Excel document. I put it into uh, ChatGPT's data advanced analytics tool and watched it come up with visualizations and insights and bar charts. Here, here's, here's what I did. I went to this site, got the employees payroll in Los, Los Angeles. You can see this Excel document, don't get all excited. 600,000 line document. I put it in to ChatGPT said, hey, hey, create some insights and visualizations for me. And, for me. and it started to cook. It started to come up with all these different ideas. And then I asked it a more important question, which was, um, Hey, how can you make this relevant for a group of payroll professionals in Nashville, though? And it came up with uh, this. I don't know why. I just, I, uh, I don't know what to tell you. Beyond this, beyond this, it took a giant Excel file and it started to come up with some of the analysis and visualizations. How many people in this room work in global payroll? Clap, 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 clap. Okay. So, you know, the, one of the things that's difficult is being able to connect with uh, global payroll pr professionals all around the world or some of our staff around the world, but AI is making it easier. You know, I've been training my own language, um, my own accent in different languages. Here's me speaking different languages. All right, I just touched down in Barcelona. Now, unfortunately, I don't know any Spanish, but the beautiful thing about generative AI is that not only do I know Spanish, but I know every single language, you know, todos los idiomas del mundo. Y lo que hemos hecho es democratizar completamente el lenguaje. Die Kosten für Kreativität, das Erledigen von Aufgaben und Sprache gehen gegen null. The beautiful part now is that we can actually understand which is the sexiest language in the world. Is it this? Kore deska, sexy deska. Dunia mein kon bhasha? Ye sabse akarshak hai. Dunia mein kon si bhasha? Kya ye akarshak hai? Definitely not that. It's, it's still like real life where Spanish is still the sexiest language in the world and Hindi sounds like you're reading a, like a, a payroll onboarding document or something. Uh, I, my people can never win. But, um, you know, 
About a decade ago, I had a mobile app development firm and we used to design and develop and test apps. And it took us an extraordinary amount of effort and resources and money to get developers and designers all around the world to create these app prototypes. And today, just through generative AI, you can now do it in seconds. Let me give you a relevant example. I created an app like within seconds for you, a relevant app. So I created a construction payroll app. Because you know what, contractors in construction, they're looking for payment you know, right away. So I went to this site called Marbleism, where you can create these app prototypes. So what I did is I put in payroll construct, that's the name of the app, it's a software as a service. I said, build me a same day payroll app that facilitates payments to construction workers, ensure that there's like approvals and payments. And then, you know, it started to cook. It started to come up with you know, some of the pages and data models, and right away it came up with an app prototype right there and there. And you know, it's funny because Mark Andreessen, uh, he's, a, he's a partner at H16Z, one of the most reputable venture capital firms in the world. In 2011, he said that software is eating the world. Well, in 10 years, we're gonna say that AI ate software. And the implication here is that anything that is digital, Anything that is digital today will be replicated by AI. Whether it's data, an app, a website, an image, a video, will be able to be replicated by an AI. That's how good it's getting. Let me give you another example, using images. Today, you can almost replicate any image on the planet. Let me, let me show you what I'm talking about. I went to my favorite website in the world. I recommend that you go to it every single day. I, I went to payroll... Org, payroll org, yes. I grabbed the first picture that I saw, which was this picture, okay, beautiful picture. Are they real? I don't know. But I put it into <laughs> Mid Journey and it gave me a description immediately of what it was looking at and then I just, I, I, I pressed one button and it came up with 16 different variations of what that picture would look like and then I picked, a pic I liked the picture that I, you know, I, I liked the best and it was this one and this was the picture from Payroll Org. Hey, Payroll Org, you don't have to pay me for this one, okay? <laughs> and you know what's interesting is that, you know, we're starting to reimagine how we look at work because of AI. You know, if you look at any of these images, all these images are done by an AI. And at this point, you're not gonna be able to tell what's done by a real person or AI. And let's say you were a, a brand that wanted to do a big marketing campaign. What you'd have to do is you have to strategize, you'd have to plan, you'd have to get your teams together, you'd have to get the fashion designer, the makeup artist, you'd have to bring all the camera equipment, you'd have to do post-production, you'd have to do editing. And you know, all of that would have taken you weeks and months to do, and maybe forty to $50,000 to execute. Well today, a 10-year-old anywhere around the world can replicate these seconds or campaign photo shoots in seconds. I mean, forget the 10-year-old. Just pay me the forty dollars to $50,000 and I will do it in seconds. What's happening is that we are starting to reimagine the process when it comes to AI. And to me, when it comes to AI, that this is what's happening, is that the end is now the beginning. The end is now the beginning. AI is just not the output, but it could be the input. It could be the starting point to everything that we do.